What is up, everybody? I am your host, 1920 Beer Baron, beside, beside what it says down there. I have another beer from, uh, you know who? I burned myself. Look at that. Oh, you can see that red mark right there on my pressure washer. It's hot. Suffer gets hot. Like this guy. No. Anyway, today we have Modern Methods Brewing Company, right about 10 minutes from my house. Scrappy German Hefeweizen, bright banana, 5.3 by volume, uh, 16 ounce glass. And I got a new glass today too. Uh, you go to Modern Method Brew, Modern Method Brew. Dot com 125 Dave Grohl Alley. You know who Dave Grohl is? For the Foo Fighters, yeah. And I have a new glass. Check out my glass. I don't know if you can say that. I can't. And on the back, it has it etched for like whatever liters or something. Like a, it says 0 0.5 liters. I don't know. Viva. Viva. I don't know. Fur convert. I, I paid five bucks for it. It was a $3 price tag. I gave him 5 because he helped me out finding this thing. And, and yeah. I'm a nice guy. Anyways, let's try this out. Do, 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 do. I think that's a that's a fill line is what that is. You fill it up to there if you're at a pub. And that looks like uh, probably 16 ounces, huh? Hot dog! Yeah, pretty much the fill line where we're supposed to fill it up. Okay, that's a nice glass. Uh, fun fact. The British government coined the slogan, keep calm and carry on during World War II in order to motivate citizens to stay strong. All right, now we got that out of the way. Check this out. It's slightly hazy. Yeah, it smells like a, a hepa weasel. You got the wheat. And you got some, um, what they have in it? Let's see, some uh, coriander. Yep. Not too many bubbles. You know, there's some, pla some places put coriander in their beer and it's too much. I think this is just a rare amount. What, what there was one that's called Lefe Lefe L E F F E E. I'm not sure if I'm even saying it right, but that is over top coriander. I, I it's like someone strangled one a coriander and put it in there, a whole plant. And this this is actually quite well. I like this. Okay, scrappy German hepa weasel. Yeah, and I, I enjoy this. This is all right. It's almost, yeah, it's got a little bit of coriander in there. It's got the wheat, a little bit of wheat. It almost like a, they, they mixed it in with a, like a little bit of a summer ale in there too. Pretty good though. What would I give it? I'd give it a B plus. Definitely a B plus on this one. This is very good. Heck yeah. And in this uh, modern methods, I have yet to go there. And on my other channel, I'm going to go there and I'm going to do a review of their, their place. I'm like, they, get, they let you tour their place. And I says, I can't wait to try it out. I got to I go down there and hey, if I walk, if I walk there, it'll take about a half an hour. But if I take my car, five minutes. I said 10 minutes in it earlier. I think it's about five minutes. So it's not that far from me. So, not bad. Even though I give it a B plus, even though I don't care for coriander in my beer, but this is pretty good. It has like a like a lemon lemon in there, like a summer ale, the wheat, the coriander. It's like a pretty good. You got a good winner there, and um, and I'm gonna give you one more fun fact. The voice actor of SpongeBob and the voice actor of Karen, Plankton's computer wife, has been married since 1995. And I think that's about it, folks. If you like this review, do some other. I got some other beers I do reviews. Maybe four or five or more. I, I think maybe maybe a little more. I don't know. But I like my new glass. It's pretty good. It's nice and thick. This must have come from the Set S C I T 1470. So that means established. 
that must be the coat of arms on the glass there. I thought it was pretty cool. We were just browsing around, browsing around a flea market. And he had a bunch of beer glasses and stuff. And I like this one. And then in another part of the flea market, there was something I wanted, but nobody was there. And then we were walking by this guy, or walking by, and then I said, well, they ain't got nobody over there. And then the guy asked me, he said, what do you need? So I was like, well, I wanted uh, the price on this thing over here. So he, he, uh, he, I took him over there and he says, $3. I was like, all right. And then we walk, I says, yeah, okay. We're gonna go back and get a glass. And my wife says, at your at your thing. He goes, oh, well, no, that, just, that glass is $75. <laughs> he was just messing around. And it was $3. But I says, you know what? Since you helped me with that thing I needed over there, I'll, I'll, take, I'll give you five for it. So how often do you see that? Someone paying more for something that had a price tag on it. I helped him out. He, that's the way, way I am in life. You help me out, I help you out. Like if I, if I ever need to borrow like $5, I pay back $10. I pay back 100% of what I borrow. And it could, because you helped me out, I help you out. Even though I don't loan money, there are very few people I would loan money to. But for the most part, I'll give money and I don't expect you to pay it back. Like if you, you borrow $5 off me, I say keep it. It's all right. You don't have to pay it back. But if I borrow it from you, you're getting 10 bucks back, Jack. So it's like if I borrow something. If I, if I borrow something, I'm going to give give it back in better shape than I got it. Like if, if something with like a stunching cord, if I need, I'll probably go out and buy a, ho a reel for it. You know, if you let me lose a stunching cord, I'll go out and buy a $7 reel for it. And you can cord it up a lot easier. If you help me, I'll help you out. Anyways, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's about it. What else? Hell, I don't know. And remember, know when to say when. Cheers.